Hi everybody, Andy Carter here. Welcome down to Jumeirah Golf Estates here in Dubai. The height of summer. Probably every video I'm going to complain about how hot it is, but we're going to get on with it anyway. Uh, welcome down to Carter's Golf. If you're the first time on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Also press the bell for notifications. Lots and lots of content coming your way, all based around golf lessons that I give here on a daily basis. And the lessons are based on faults that I see. And then hopefully if they can be related to your own golf swing, then that would be amazing for you to go down and practice on the drive range. Obviously not every tip is gonna be related to your golf swing, but hopefully today, if it is, it's gonna help massively because today we're talking early extension. So what is early extension? Early extension is when we come back down towards the golf ball, the hands start to release the club too early. So it's otherwise been known as a cast as well. And there's a couple of different ways that you can kind of talk about early extension. You could talk about it with your hips, but today we're gonna to be talking about it in your hands. So the first thing we see a lot of is as we get to the top of the back swing, golfers tend to move a lot towards the left-hand side because they feel like they're off to the front foot, I should say, left-hand side for right-handed golfers. Golfers wanna try and feel like they need to get the weight forwards to the front lead leg, okay? So we get to the top of the back swing, golfers will think, right, okay, I need to get my, my shift my weight across. Now we're so far ahead of the golf ball, you can see where my left knee is in relation to my left foot. We have to then early extend, okay? So that's one thing we really don't want to be doing at all. The weight does need to get towards the left-hand side. The, the rotation of the hips does need to occur, but we don't want the, the hips to slide to the left, because if the hips do slide to the left, there's only one way we can really hit the ball and that's through using the hands. If, we, if these hips slide towards the left-hand side, then as we start to come back down, if, I, if I'm really good and I don't release my wrists, then I'm gonna to top the golf ball because I've moved my center so far to the left side of the golf ball, I can't hit it. So an early extension generally comes from the fact that golfers move too much to the left, and the only way they can really get into the back of the golf ball now is by releasing that right hand down or releasing both hands, releasing the club back down into the golf ball. So we're gonna be talking about how to not do that really. And the first thing is once we get to this top of the backswing, the pressure, the body weight is gonna be into the, pretty much into the middle of your feet, okay? But I personally don't like to see a lot of weight here. I really discourage any golfers being too much on, being at all on the back leg. So I'd like to try and see my golfer at the top of the golf swing, weight nice and neutral. Now as you start to move into the downswing, it's not really much of a bump and turn. I would always kind of say from this position, it's a rotation around the left side. So now my weight is on my left foot. If my weight now is moving to my left foot, but my hips are rotating at the same time, I can, I can maintain the angle in my wrist. I can get the wrist angle coming into impact ahead of the golf ball and the golf club. We do not want to see a feeling of a slide and then turn because we're still too far forward and then we still have to early extend. So the rotation from the top of the backswing, the, the transition into the downswing is so important, making sure that from this top of the backswing, the pressure moves into the left side as we turn, okay? So it's that movement there. So as I get to the top of the backswing, my arms start to come back down, hips start to rotate, pressure now is on my left side, hands, as you can see, have stayed ahead of the golf ball. The reason the majority of golfers early extend the wrists is because they have to. It's very, very rare that we actually see a golfer just do everything really, really nicely and then do that, okay? So, the, and I always think an early extension happens for a reason. It's your body trying to make up for an incorrect movement that's preceded it, okay? The body's trying to say, well, okay, if you're gonna go over there with your hips, I need to help you out a little bit, okay? So we're trying to make, we very rarely see a golfer that turns and then early extends. If they do, they're gonna catch the ball really, really heavy. So one thing I wanna try and do, and if that is you as well, if you do turn really, really well and get across to your left side, but early extend into the back of the ground, you've just gotta to try to really feel that the back of this right hand has stayed hinged for as long as possible. So as we go to the top of the backswing here, you'll see the back of my right hand has got an angle. So as I start to move back down in towards my left side, there, I've got my hand, I've got my weight rotated around my left side. And as you can see, the back of that right hand has stayed, has stayed back. Therefore, the club head has stayed behind it. If that right hand starts to extend, 
You're, there's no angle there of whatsoever in my right hand, okay? So the feeling I wanna try and get is from the top of the golf swing, the lower body starts to move into the left side, the back of the right hand stays hinged, and we actually just don't feel like we ever release it. It will naturally release. So we're moving the lower body, moving the lower body around the, around the lead leg, keeping the back hand, keeping the right hand in this case, back as we come into impact. <sighs> Gives me that crisp, perfect little strike. That was very, very nice. Golfers, if you need to see, how do you know if you're even ext early extended? That's always a key one. And the shots that you, kind of gem you generally will see is a heavy shot. You won't see that many things. Maybe the very occasional top shot, depending on how severe it is. But I think the most common golf shot you're gonna see is a very fat shot. The club is bottomed out in the bottom of the, of, the, of the arc too soon before the golf ball and you take up you take up turf. Now, whether you've done it because of that or whether you've actually just done it because that's what you do, you've turned your lower body really well, but you've released the hands really well. The only way you can really know this is by filming it and seeing when this angle here gets straight. So we're always gonna see, as you can see, that my left arm to club, there's an angle, there's an angle, there's an angle, there's an angle, and there's still an angle. If you start to see straight line, then you've early extended. So if you're gonna go and test this out to see if you do this, that is the best way to do it. Try and look at the relationship between your left arm and the actual golf club itself. So as you start to come back down, if you've early extended, left arm's gone straight. Look at your lower body, is your left knee ahead of your left foot? If it is, you need to change that. If it isn't, great. You just need to focus on, I would say, focus on keeping that right hand back so we can help maintain the angle. And at this point, it will naturally release on the way down. So we're gonna try and hold that right hand back, rotate the left hip so it doesn't go over and past your left foot. So the weight is still going forward, but we're rotating. Right hand back. And bosh. Good shot. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. I hope it's been informative. Even if you don't do this, it's really nice just to even learn different aspects of the golf swing and different problems that obviously other people face, but understanding how the golf swing works as well is hopefully this, that can be a lesson to you. If you are an early extender, you need to find out why you're extending. The body will generally do it for a reason. So look at your lower body, look at where your hips are either sliding to or rotating to, look at that relationship angle between your left arm and the club, and to hold that angle better, trying to keep that right hand back a little bit more on the way back down. Trying to keep the hands ahead of the golf ball and get the feel that the hands are working to the left side of your body as your hips have rotated there, okay? So really try and focus on that. Your ball striking will increase twofold and the distance of your shots will probably increase just because of the quality of the strike and the ball flight as well. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Really enjoyed making this tip for you, so I hope you've enjoyed watching it too. Please do hit that subscribe button, follow me on my social media platforms. We've got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And like I say, if you wanna see more content from the YouTube channel, just click that bell for notifications. But from an extremely sweaty, Dubai. See you soon.